do we have water here? Yeah, no, we're we're yeah. good. Um, are you wanting to? Were you want? Were you wanting to spray chemical yes. or water or both or whichever? I'd, I'd like to spray this forty with that chemical. Okay, well let's do this. All right, so let's start out this way. But I didn't know if we needed to pry. I... Mm -mm. No, you don't have to. Uh, I well, I, I put a gallon of water in there and just let it run it through it real quick. Um, do they have water over there? We can prime it real quick. Please? I'll have to start it, and I can just do it like we're going to do it. Yeah, just put yeah, right. yeah, put a little water in it. We'll prime it real quick, and then that's it. Uh, but I'm going to take you through and show you how to map these fields. Okay. And then that's it, and we'll be good to go. Um, all right. So, taking you through all this stuff here, I sent you that hour-long video. I know that's a long video to watch. It'll make sense again after today. Um, so I'm gonna resend it to you on my way home okay, so you can watch okay. it again. Cause I go through these, the, all these entire menus again. Good. Manual is just, we're gonna go out and spray ditches and whatever. Okay. We just, all we wanna be able to do at that point is just pick our rate and that's it. We don't care anything else about it. Droplet size uh, and then, you know, how, how big would flow? Two gallons, five gallons, whatever we wanna do. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do the route mode. All right, so. Yep, switch that. And then when our boundaries are already in there, that just saves a lot of time. Exactly, and that's why I, we, we got to get the, the what's the, the them to release those. We'll um, all right, so um, which field are we wanting to do, Isaac? This one right here, so that'll be right here. That one right there? Okay, uh -huh. all right. So remember, there's three ways we can, we can do this. Um, we can, so we're going to do fields. Um, we're going to add our points few ways we can either trust this cross here yeah like zoom in on it and say yeah that looks good and boom drop a point um, or we can use the controller ride around with the truck yeah or we can use the drone which one do you want to use what do you suggest I mean this is a square 40 with as nothing square as this 40 is can I, we just drop points and duck go? I would as close as I would yeah I would Man, we can get yeah. me on spray the burns yeah I don't care I would do this so here's what let's just do this Let's just put it there. If you think that looks good there. Do I need to start my generator and let the batteries be running? Yes, go ahead and do that and I'll get this mapped. Spraying? Oh, you turn it on. I hear some. I don't think so. Yeah. No. I see. I see some. But yeah, I thought this one was good. About 28. It's not. Each chemical you're gonna to have to play with and figure out. Okay. Could be 26. Could be 28. Could be 32. You just gotta. I'm gonna go in the middle at 28. Um, advanced settings, you can do the route only, you can do this route plus boundary. When it gets done, it'll fly back around and spray the boundary. Yes. Or you can just spray the boundaries. Just depends on what you want to do on that. Okay. So on that one, we'll hit save. We'll hit that. And then I'm going to switch over to the sprayer. Oh, we hit two gallon. That's what I got the chemical to do. Good. Okay, good. So let's just do clear trap there, start. Hit that spray button. The, the manual one is right there. Yeah. Our machinery, this shit's much easier to work on. Yeah. Much easier. I traced it from the very tank all the way up to find it. Um, so I would go ahead and stop that. Okay. And then I want you to hit your cog wheel right there and hit your sprayer. Yep. And then I want you to hit clear trap there.
Hit OK. All right, we're ready to go. Right. Um, How do we set the amount? OK, so what we're going to do now, hit X right there. OK. All right. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, so hit that chevron right there. And that's going to be your field, all your other stuff, okay. things like that. Um, so uh, as far as let's uh, just turn it on, let's just clear the, uh, yeah, let's just let it spray everything else out. So now we're good. Um, this is the field I made for you. Okay. When we go to swarm, um, that divide field is what we're going to use to divide ours up to get those to swarm. Are y'all doing two or three total? Two. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. All right. He's doing that. That's where we just came from. He just he ordered. He did the three bundle one. So he's uh, uh I just we just went through the, did the divide field feature with him. So he's okay. Rock and rolling with it. Uh, so once that runs out. Uh, we're gonna hit use this field. Oh shoot! Use. All right. Now here's where we get. Oh, to, okay. Yeah, here's the meat and potatoes of it yeah. all. Yep. So now I want to show you this oh. just for your benefit. And it says no template applied. You can create new template and have like fungicides, yeah, insecticides, yeah. certain fields. Like certain fields may have their own specific thing, chemical, whichever you want to call it. So that's how, what you would do is, is you would put your rate in and then scroll through this menu, your speeds, your height, everything, and then click save, and then you've got a whole new template. Okay. So eventually our goal is to pull up, hey, here's my field, tap. All right, I'm spraying fungicide uh, at, mm -hmm. at whatever, tap. Drone takes off, we're done, okay. and that's it. So, so droplet so, size, what's? So right now, so, um, so uh, application rate two gallon, perfect. Um, we got to check Paraquat. Can we do two on Paraquat, or does it have to be higher? I don't know. I thought we could do two, but I don't know. Uh, let's do two and just see. Yeah, let's yeah. do it and huh. see. Um, droplet size, three twenty is perfect. Okay. From all the data, all the research, everything, I've have yours to default to three twenty. If the rains kick up, it get, or if the winds kick up, it gets a little bit worse. You can increase yours to about 400, 450. Okay. Just kind of depends on, and really you got to look at the chemicals and what you're putting yeah. out. I'll do some if, studying on that. Yeah, if, if, if you really need, like some of it needs that entire envelopment, the entire mist, the entire everything that goes around it. Some stuff just needs droplets to hit four or five leaves of it, suck it up and kill it. That's gonna be up to you and what you know and what you need. Okay. So that's gonna be, um, so we'll leave it 320 um, speed. We max out at, three, at 32, height above crop, defaults to, I'll put it at 10. We can change all these settings as we go, route spacings all the way up to you. So that's gonna be, like I said, we're gonna figure out, you're gonna figure out, okay, I'm spraying Paraquat. I know from last time I can do two gallons per acre but I streaked a little, so I need to go down on my route spacing to 27 or 26. Okay. Or I did perfect, let me push it a little, let me go to 29 or 30. Okay. So that's gonna be stuff you're gonna fit, because right now there is no perfect diagram for everything, for the chemicals, for the drones, just because the pump, this pumps, these pumps are different than what we had on the yeah, 40s. Yeah, yeah. So at this point, we're done, we're ready to go. You would hit start and then you would take off. So you're ready to fill up and take off. All right. I mean, make, I ain't need to think because I was just waiting. Yeah, yeah. Time. You're ready to go. So we'll hit start. All right. It's going to tell us we're at Flatland. Mm -hmm. This is our takeoff speed. Return to home. So you can change this. This is our takeoff speed. A return to home hot stuff like that yeah. um, well, let's see collapse yeah sit aircraft oh okay yeah good perfect okay good resume and so with this stuff you just slide that yeah and off she goes Do it on its own. You're done. What's it do? Is it spray? Yeah. So it 
started spraying there, it was the boundary. It's gonna go back and spray. Remember I told you it was gonna go do back when it get done? Sweet. Well shit, that's, right. that's better. Good, I feel better. I was like, damn, I didn't realize I was that far off. So what it'll do. Which way you run with the Yeah, road. and so one thing I do wanna show you though, on this, uh, that little yellow thing right there. Yeah. Stop. See how it's turning your field yeah, rows? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So if you need to change your wind or change your direction, change something. And if you've already sprayed, will it go and stop and turn around at that spot? Uh-huh. Okay. So with me, it's gonna go back. It should go back to that spot right there. Okay. Perfect. In theory, we'll see. All right, so let's make sure. So we're not going to change anything. Yeah, we just really, yeah. All right, so one thing is, since we've already sprayed and we were right, we don't want to respray. We're going to hit in progress. Okay. So see, pulls that back up. Yeah. It shows everything again. Yeah. Make sure we're good. But if you needed to change stuff, you still, you now you know how to change it. Yeah. And you still, you can't change the in-progress one, but you can change one for the next one. Okay. So we're good there. We're going to hit use. Start. Same thing. It goes right back off. And it'll go right back to where it was like we never did anything. Okay. Cool. And that icon right there yeah. will show you when it's going to run out of chemical. Okay. All right. There you go. How do you, okay, you're gonna show me uh, how to do that in a minute though. Which one? Uh, well, how when it gets close to running out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually what we can do now is, while well, it's spraying doing its thing, uh, so connection retail, uh, return to home speed. How fast do you want to fly back to you? Gotcha. I max mine out because you can, basically you burn too much battery going slower you want to fly back as fast as you can. Return to home altitude, that's important. Yes. Out here, it don't matter. There ain't nothing out here that should hit. Those trees, those power lines, we would want to increase that to, you know, 30 feet, foot, whatever we need to okay. on there. Um, if you go to move with this trailer, which, you know, if we suggest something like that, you can have said aircraft location or controller. So basically you can I have can a way to stay up with it. Exactly, exactly. So tank empty, hover, ascend. Like sometimes it'll fly up and be like, hey, I'm empty, dummy. I always have my return home. Okay. Task complete, return home, which it's in progress, won't let me do that. RC signal loss, return home. Uh, well, once it uh, continues. Yeah, 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 continue on signal loss. I don't ever turn okay. that on. So when this gets done, the next time it lands, or when it, when it, I'm gonna wait till this tank is done, and I'm gonna change those two settings for you, because what I want is, I always, and I always have my headlights on. Okay. I just leave them on yes. just for extra visibility. Um, I'm just going through some of your other settings here. That looks good there. I'm gonna increase your flight distance because sometimes you're gonna get further from where you okay. want to be. So that's about a mile, which is about right. I got your flight al altitude. The FAA w wouldn't want to see you have it at 328, but they would be okay with you having it at that right there. Okay. So, um, so I'm just looking to make sure all this stuff looks good. All the lights are cool. Yeah, so that helps a little bit. Uh, flight protection. All right, so. Oh, I got a question. Uh -huh. Isn't there a way, or they might do it where it'll land every time where the fill up's on this side like it was? It, it'll land the exact way it took off, where it took off from. Okay. So at this point, we're about to run out. So what? And then it's gonna fly, it should fly on back to us. Will it land on Well, the wait a minute, it might not fly back, hold on. Let's see. Oh, because that button. Right. Okay. So 
So what we're going to do now is take over because I took off down there. Oh. So that that's the home point where I took off down there. I got you when we did that. Exactly. Yeah, we got we couldn't push it because it was already striking. We had to get that button. So at this point. In the future, it'll always ask you, do you want auto landing or manual? Once you click auto the first time, from there on out on the mission, every time it'll auto okay. land. So you, you may fill yeah. it up. You fill it up, I'm gonna fix those settings, yep. Yeah. All those things, when it's done with everything, it's gonna come on back to us. Okay. So we just sit here. He was a little too close. And there we go. So, if you don't like some of those settings, that yeah. little chevron right there, yes. you can always change them. On the fly. On the fly. For your rate, okay. your microns, your speed, okay. your height, everything. You okay. can change it all as you go. Um, if you're on some weird land that's kind of giving you some issues, um, you can put it on orchard or hill. And that will, like if you've got one of those, it's got one of those massive gradient drops, you might try changing to that because it's gonna hug it a little closer. This one is, is basically saying, hey, we're, we're, we're spraying flatland. Okay. So, but 99.9, .9, I'm in flatland. Okay. So, and that is it. Uh, I got you, it, I just didn't. Yeah, good, yeah, I say, usually have your, your uh, brace thing on, man, and then you can just hang out and watch.